It's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. We're back with more DIYs. It's actually going to be wedding theme. If you guys have been watching me for some time, you know that my wedding is coming up very, very soon. So I had to get my shit together because it's crunch time and I got a lot of things to do. I really wanted to do it like a donut wall. I thought it was really cute because I saw it on Pinterest. While I was looking around, I saw a macaroon board and I thought it was so adorable. So I really want to do that instead. I could have bought it. It was like 30 something dollars, but like 20 something dollars for shipping. And I was like, nah, I'm going to try to make it myself. You know, if you guys think it's cute at the end of this video but we're gonna try to attempt to make a macaroon board and we'll see how it turns out let's go we're gonna need some foam board that I got from the Dollar Tree now we got our foam board I got two because you're gonna need one for the board and you're gonna need the sides for the stand we're gonna attempt to do this attempt I'm gonna go ahead and try to leave all the measurements on the screen also in the description box so you guys can follow along as well I got my pencil and I got my ruler what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half the long way but let's see how long this is 20 inches so we're gonna do 10 inches and one more all the way down we're going to connect them so we know that it's going to be half so now we're gonna cut down our board right in half because this is gonna be our stand on the side of the board so you're gonna take your box cutter and you're gonna just cut all the way down I don't have a large cutting mat but I at least have this thing I'm just gonna line it at the bottom so now that we got our two boards this is gonna be the side can you guys imagine it? Like the board's gonna be like in the middle. We're gonna try to recreate this image right here on one side first. All right guys, so all that work, I'm just gonna have to erase it because I saw back the image and this width right here, looks like it's gonna be too thick. So I'm actually gonna make this a little bit more narrow. Okay, so instead of four inches, we're actually gonna do two inches. So I'm gonna erase everything. Thankfully we did this in pencil because it's easy to just erase and redo them. But honestly, you're gonna cut this off anyways, so you don't really need to erase it. So two inches on this side and the side we go down to four inches then you're going to draw out your two inches in the middle so I'm just gonna mark it all the way up it should look a lot better so you're gonna do the same thing to the other board so right here it's two inches up Right here to this point is four, and then this two is two inches wide. So this is your outside of your board. You're gonna make three lines in the middle because you need the main board to fit into this. I drew a line right in the middle, and then we're just gonna draw the line out. Probably be in the inside of your board so you don't see all these. So now we just have to figure out where we're gonna put them. So I am going to start one at the three inches right here, and then I'm gonna go down four inches. So that's our first deep cut, okay? So I'm gonna just do a darker line right down the middle because that's one of our cuts and I'm going to make four inches down so this is our four I'm sorry if this is so confusing again I am trying to figure this out while I'm filming so we're figuring this out together I think that's a little bit more spread out so we have a good hole so it's three inches from the top four inches in dents and four inches in between each one make sure you do the same thing to this board because you want to make sure that you're cutting it at the same length so now we can just cut it out We got one side down, now it's time to work on the other one and leave it to the side. So now that we're done with the two stands on the side, it looks like this. You're gonna cut out these little lines that you did. So how do I make it like a big enough hole? You don't wanna make it too big where the board just like slips out. How about we leave this to the side and we'll think about it. Let's grab our big board. This is going to be cut out and this is gonna be like a puzzle. Put it with the other sides of the ends. I am terrible at explaining, I'm so sorry. So we're gonna go out one inch. If 
we measure it the same areas with each other. Honestly, I could have just done this because that way we're for sure that it's going to go in. Line it up. Now that we have that one down, we're going to take our other one and put it on top of the board so we know exactly where it lands. Make these ones a little smaller or shorter than this part. Thinking about it, you know, like, what would have happened if I turned around and said something? I've been waiting for a girl. It's going to shade in where I need to cut out so I don't get confused. I really hope this turns out good because I'm really trying here. I'm really trying here. Because I may never come back here. So we got our board cut out, looks like a huge puzzle, but now it's time to really focus on how we're going to do the stand. You see, those edges needs to fit in this hole. It's gonna be really hard to use an X-Acto knife to cut this out. Hi, it's Editing Jenny. I don't know why I keep on saying X-Acto knife when clearly it's a box cutter, so please ignore me. Not trying to mess it up. We did. We put so much hard work into this. Swipe our scissors in and out. I'm sure there's a, a better way to do this so it doesn't look as janky as I'm doing it. Okay, so I think it's the moment of truth trying to put this into the stands. Let's move this. Nope. We got it in! One side! <gasps> um... I think we made a mother freaking board. Looks a little janky on the sides because we we're like trying to put it in. But the trick is take this piece and like shove it down together and it would go through a lot easier than trying to like do it one at a time. But we're not done. We still need to make our little, you know, stands for our macarons. So I know that you guys have a bunch of scraps left and I think this is the perfect size. This is four inches length. I don't know what that is. We're gonna cut this out because we're actually going to glue this onto the board and this is what the macarons are gonna sit on. Macarons aren't that thick, right? I would say maybe an inch. You holding me tangled up in these sheets. If I didn't say it yet, you probably want to wrap your macarons in like saran wrap before you put this on the board just for sanitary purposes since you're like touching everything and you know drawing on with the pencil. So while I was working on the board and trying to figure out where I'm going to put the little triangles, I noticed that these little things are a little bit too thick rather than doing an inch and a half. I think one inch width is better than the one and a half. I think the macaroon would still stay on this one. It's a lot thinner. Before we glue on our triangles, I'm going to make our sign. We're actually going to use our Cricut. If you guys didn't see my video like about a month ago, I got my first Cricut machine, so I really want to use it. I don't have the nicest handwriting, but if you do, feel free to just write it on there. So first off, you're going to open up your Cricut design space, then you're going to put out treat, and then you're going to choose the font that you want to use. Here, I'm using Samantha because I like how it has the long tail at the end of the text. Here, you're not going to be able to use it as of yet, so you have to go to your font book and find Samantha. If you scroll down, you'll be able to find all the letters that have the long tails, and then you're just going to copy and paste it into your Cricut design space, and that's how you're going to get the treat with the long tail. Like it says on the screen, I don't have the longer mat. I have the 12 by 12, so I do have to cut up my text so it fits on one mat. And then I'll just go ahead and put it together once it goes onto the board. So I had to spit it up by ungrouping and then I welded it together. And then for the other saying, I just used Apple SD Gothic Neo for the font. Once everything's good to go, you're going to just place them together, measure it out on the rulers that they have on the design space, about 17 inches, so that would be perfect for the board. Okay, so now that I created my font and I'm ready to print out, I'm going to grab my vinyl. So the screen will tell you how much you want to cut out so you don't waste too much vinyl. My first one's going to be 10 by 12. I would say maybe like 10 and a half. And then the second one is going to be about three and a half inches by 10 and a half. 
added these vines because I, I really wanted to add something to the bottom of the board. Google Divines and this is what it came out to be and that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to use this mat because it came with my bundle and I'm going to use this paper cutter that also came with my bundle. If you guys haven't checked out that video make sure you do because there's some links so you get some discounts on it. So here I just grabbed my vinyl put it on my mat so I'm cutting out the exact same size that the Cricut machine is telling me 10 by 12 and I think the other one's about 3 by 10 but yeah placing it onto my mat and then putting it through the Cricut machine and seeing the work happen. know that you're gonna be wasting a lot of vinyl so whatever I can save I try to save so that's why I cut around it for the exciting part you're just gonna remove all the excess So now that you have all that taken off, it's time to take your transfer paper. Here, I'm going to put down my treat. I'm gonna put that onto your transfer paper and you're just gonna scrape it on there. Scraping pretty well because you want it to stick onto your transfer paper. Okay, so if you remove it, it should stick. Perfect! Yay! Have your font onto your transfer paper. You're gonna grab your board because you're gonna have to stick it on there. Definitely recommend drawing out a straight line so you have kind of like a guide of where you want to put your font. I kind of just eyeballed it, but you do what you want. So for our final step, we're just gonna cut out our strips to make our holders for our macaroons. that's all for today's video I hope that you guys like the macaroon display board I know it has a lot of imperfections it was my first time making something like this I'm just glad that it stood up because that's amazing but now that I know all the measurements and how to cut everything out I'll probably make another one just for the wedding just so the imperfections don't show as much you know what I mean I'll leave all the measurements down in the description box let me know if you guys plan to make it for your party or your wedding make sure to tag me on Instagram or wherever please give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and be on the lookout for more videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!